Look, at the, if the Maple Leafs lose tomorrow night, the season ends, and it will end in a very dramatic fashion. The question on my mind, and I think just about everybody else's mind by now, is what do you do with this Maple Leaf team if, in fact, they go down in the second round? Is this cause for dramatic change, do you think? Well, you answer to me, now. The, to me, there is... Uh... I think you ha- I think you have to do something. And I think you're the reality is you're stuck with two guys for sure. Well, let's and then talk you about have to look at two you have to look at two other guys that w- what you want to do with them. What two guys are you talking about? Tavares, I guess obviously is one who's Tavares making 11. And Tavares and Marner. Why do you think Marner? Cuz his contract's that long. He still has time on his contract. So yeah, you have to look at Nylander and Matthews what you do with them. And what do you do with them? Well, I think you have to, uh, first of all, who's, who's, who's going to make the decision of what to do with them? That's maybe the first decision. Well, let's talk about, let's talk about your opinion on what you do. Okay. Uh, I think you have to, you, you have to figure out what's going to happen with arguably supposed to be your best player, Austin Matthews, who's coming to the end of his five-year contract. Uh, in a in a similar scenario that Matthew Kachuk was in Calgary, he's got one more year. He can be extended this summer. Are you prepared to pay him $14 million? Are you prepared to pay him $13 million a year? You're not answering the question. You're asking questions. Well, I think, the, but I think. What you would you to, do? Oh, I would, sh- I would, I would shop them around to see what, 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 ta- what I could get. But with the realization that your your regular season team is not going to be as good next year as good as what the team that that, that lost in the first round or a, a team that lost in the second round yeah no 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 that's why i said regular season you team. know does that matter does that even matter at all well i mean you're, i don't you're think you're trying I, I aren't you trying to win a stanley cup and anything short of a every stanley time, cup bob. is every time bob well, then Every that's time. I'm. But, but I mean, are you suggesting you, you have to blow it up? Because you can't blow it up. Yes, you can. So what do you do with what do you do with Tavares? Well, Tavares, you can't do anything with. You're what stuck do you with do Tavares. With, what do you, and I think I think I don't I don't believe stuck is the right word with Marner, although Mitch has not played very well in this series. You're right. Um, but you know, Marner's on your team. I think you got to think about you got to think about trading Marner. You got to think about it. I mean, I'm I'm not suggesting you you do it. He's the one of the four that I probably would keep, and yet I don't. I'm not even sure why. It's just when he plays well, he's he's such a talented player, and he's a you know he's he's very much a giver. You know, he'll score you twenty, thirty, forty, maybe forty goals, maybe. Yeah. Well, he's a hundred point guy. But he's a hundred point guy, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a hundred point guy, and he year in year plays out, in, and he plays in every situation. He kills That's penalties right. for you. He's on the power play for you. He plays five on five, right? Um, but but it, you know, I, I'm the dilemma is that this team should be better. Of course. And what? So, is there a character flaw in these guys? This because there's not a. I mean, we we, we talked, and I'm I'm not avoiding the issue because I think it's, I I think that in in taking saying okay, these four guys have to be dealt with, I I think it's bigger than that, Bob. I you know Ryan O'Reilly was brought in here to fix this problem. Well, but Ryan O'Reilly was how how is he going to fix it? You're gonna you're gonna base your assessment of Riley based on Riley's play, not Riley, not, not the rest of the team. You know, have Marner and would Marner and Matthews play better if Riley was wasn't here? O'Reilly, the answer I, is I, no. I don't think so. Um, but you know, the the the, the they brought him in because is... he they th- thought he had the kind of player. He was the kind of player and the kind of character guy that would influence the other guys, and yeah. that he hasn't influenced them. He himself has played not, great. Not, not this series. No, I think that I think I think the frustration in so many ways, Bobby, is you know they looked pretty good against Tampa, 
at times and and played well enough to win. Even though well, they played yeah, they played well enough to win, John, because they won. But yeah. they did not play well. You know, I said throughout that, that series, but, after every game I asked you, I said, you know, who is a better team? And in every game except game two, in my opinion, Tampa was the better team. Yeah. Tampa played better in every game, you know, five of the six games. The only game they didn't play better in was game two. And and you know, that was it was a great concern. This Maple Leaf team has not played well in except for one playoff game. And that's why they're down three nothing. But let me let me throw a couple things at you. Okay. The Chicago Blackhawks win the draft lottery. There seems to be almost no doubt they're going to draft Connor Bedard, right? Well, yeah, they're drafting Connor Bedard 100 percent If they should don't the draft Connor Bedard, they should fire the whole front office. Okay, what about right this? after right after the draft? Why wouldn't you make a trade offer? Who the Blackhawks for Bedard? For Bedard? Yep. Because yep. I mean, so Austin Matthews and uh, William Nylander for Connor Bedard. Well, I wouldn't say both, but I'd say Austin Matthews and maybe a draft, a first round draft choice somewhere somewhere down the road. I mean, the, the right off the top, my first inclination is the Blackhawks are dealing with cost certainty for three years with Connor Bedard. So what? They've got they've got lots of dra- they've got lots of space and they've got lots of no, money. No, no, Who cares? Who he, cares? No. I'm because I'm not paying. I I, I want to build around an 18 year old. I don't want to build around a guy who hasn't won a playoff series. There's only one one playoff series, Bob. So you think? I'm not think sure. That, I want the Leafs. Then their 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 ability to get any kind of a deal is going to be limited by the fact that they have been unbelievably bad in postseason. What with Chicago, yeah. With well, Chicago, what about all? Yeah. Well, you know, could you trade so, Matthews to somebody else? Does somebody else have a greater, you know? Uh, well, uh, I think I think appraisal if you, of if Matthews. You look at, I I think that there's lots of teams that would have interest in Austin Matthews. Yeah, I, I sure there would. There, but be Chicago lots of teams. isn't one of them. I wouldn't. If I'm Chicago, I'm not even going near that. No way. I don't know why. Well, well, I don't know. I'm, I don't biting, I'm biting. I'm biting. I'm. I'm taking my time. I'm building around this 18 year old kid. I am gonna. Uh, I'm gonna be have a gradual approach. And by the, the end of his third year, at the end of his uh, first contract, when I really have to pay him, we're gonna be back in the in the playoffs, and we're gonna build a tremendous amount of momentum. It, it's well, by the maybe way, you, maybe it's you exactly, are. It's, it, That's it's one exactly, pl- one player is not gonna get you into the playoffs. Well, they're going to get more than one player over the next two or three years, Bob. Well, I, I get that. <laughs> it's but, it, 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 you know. it is identical. It's identical to what Dale, Talon, and those guys did in the mid first uh, decade of this century when they got Jonathan Taves and then Patrick Kane. Fine, you know, you know look, it's identical. It, you know, first round draft picks sometimes turn out to be stars. Yes, the Toronto Maple Leafs got a first round draft pick. Yeah, and you could argue that individually he's a star. Oh, he's and what a star. is the, what has the team done? You're absolutely right. It is very frustrating. Exactly, it is very frustrating. It is very frustrating. It's it it makes it makes so little sense of what's going to happen. That's and and I'll tell you what. This is where, um, the rabid fan base is going to make a difference. I think because. If and when they lose this series, and maybe it's more if than anything else, or no, when than than anything else, this fan base is going to revolt. It's going to revolt, and ownership will have no choice but to make big, bigger changes than players, I think. Don't you? I think you have to do something that, this offseason. And, you know, we talk about the easy decisions like fire the coach, fire the general manager, fire the president. You know, I think that might be given. Those might be givens. I think what you got to do is you got to trade the players on the ice. You got to change. You got to change this roster and dramatically, not just one or two guys, you know, like dealing Nylander would be, in my opinion, would be easy. But, you know, what are you going to get in return? 
you know, how well, that, dramatically does But that's does the it, question. That, that, well, how dramatically does question. can well can you not change this team? That um, you're going to you're going to have to make that conscious decision that we are going to take, and and I know the the goal is to win the Stanley Cup, but the angst of winning in this city is so high in the regular season too that you have to find a way to continue to win at this level. 